In today's video, we'll go over the best defense to use in Madden 23. Whether you're trying to stuff the run, get instant sacks, or get so many turnovers that you start scoring on defense. This defense is so overpowered that I only allow three points per game in online play. Probably because it results in so many rage quits. So if you want to see what shutdown defense I'm using and you should be using in Madden 23, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'm going to be using the Miami Dolphins defensive ebook that I just dropped. I'll have links in the description if you guys want to check this out. To me, this is going to be the meta defense very soon. And I can't wait to show you guys some of the plays that I cooked up. So if you want to see more defensive videos Woo! like this out of my Miami Dolphins defensive ebook, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and make sure you're a subscriber. We have such sights to show you. The defense I'm using today is a brand new defense to Madden 23, the Nickel 3-3 Cub. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? No, I'm just joking. This is the same defense as the 3-3-5 wide from last year. There's only a few small differences that give this a new formation name. Little things like the fact that there's a fourth defensive lineman in this particular spot here. It's not going to matter at the end of the day because my first thing that I'm going to do every single time I choose this formation is change these outside guys to linebackers. I want to put my highest zone and my fastest linebackers on the edge because I'm going to be using them in zone coverage a lot. I'm also going to be using them in the blitz package a lot. Then I'm also going to make sure that my middle linebacker is either my fastest linebacker because I'm going to be using him or I might even put a safety if I have a really fast safety. It really depends if you're trying to stop the run or pass. If you're trying to stop the run, it's probably better to use a linebacker. If you're trying to stop the pass, it's probably better to use the safety. Now, there's really only two plays that I use. The Sam Will Blitz 3 is going to be my base defense. I'm going to use this whenever I think my opponent's going to pass. It's going to be the number one defense. It's highly adjustable. It's the best blitz, and it's also a pretty good run defense. But if my opponent's really pounding the rock, I'm going to switch over to the Cover 4 Show 2, which is definitely the best run defense in the formation. And because of that, I'm always going to want to make sure that I have this in my four-play audibles. There's a few other plays that I use from time to time, like the Cover 2. I just throw that in there to mix it up. If I feel like the receivers are getting too wide open against some of these defenses, I might start using the cover one which is a very good defense this year but for the most part 90% of the game I'm running the cover three or the cover four and it's really based off whether I think they're running or passing. What makes this defense so good is versatility. Without any adjustments you can see that the defensive linemen inside the box or at least the linebackers are typically outside of the offensive tackles which is really going to be good for stopping outside runs. Typically you always want to maintain outside leverage when it comes to outside runs. To make the run defense better I typically want to shift the defense by hitting the R1 RB button whether on Xbox or PlayStation and hitting shift right which is going to be right on the left stick. This will shift the defensive line and make it look more like a four down lineman set but at the end of the day you still maintain that same spacing and that same outside run lane integrity. So it basically allows you to have outside contain while also having small gaps that are hard to run through on the inside as well. In Madden 23, cover three is a much improved run defense. In years past, it would really be a bad defense because the cornerbacks drop back, basically allowing a lot of outside run space. But in Madden 23, the linebackers and the defensive ends do a much nope. better job of getting outside and taking away those outside run lanes, which is a lot better than man coverages like man zero and man cover one, where essentially the receivers will pull the cornerbacks back, and then the cornerbacks will basically have their backs turned chasing the receivers that are really just running phantom routes. Where you going? The better run defense, though, is always going to be cover for quarters. No matter what formation you're in, cover four quarters or regular cover four is the best run defense in the game. And the reason for that is very simple. The safeties in cover four typically will play the run first. As long as you don't guess pass, they will drop down the box and they will act like extra linebackers which is something that no other defense offers. Now, if you guess pass, that benefit will be canceled out because you're basically telling the safeties to drop straight back into pass coverage so they won't commit to the run the same way. So keep that in mind. I also find that because this is a better run defense in general and it's also a better intermediate pass defense where cover three is more of a deep pass defense, I find it's best to run this in the red zone. Anytime your opponent gets inside the 20, you're going to want better run defense in the first place, but you're also going to want better short pass defense based off the fact that there's no deep routes available. Now to set this defense up so that's most successful as a run defense, you're going to make that same adjustment where you're going to shift your defensive line, but you're going to want to make your safeties get closer to the line of scrimmage so they can be more effective. The further they are back, the further they have to go to get into the play. To do this, just hit Y or Triangle, whether you're an Xbox or PlayStation, then you're going to hit right on the left stick, then you're going to hit left on the left stick, and then right on the left stick again. That will bring your safeties down, but not your cornerbacks. 
If your cornerbacks come down, they can get beat easily because essentially they're pressing. So if a simple streak from a good receiver can get right past a, a slower cover for a corner. This can happen to the safeties as well, but I find it much less common. It's still something to be aware of. If your opponent does try to push the ball down the field against the lower safeties, you're going to have to be more cautious about bringing them down to the box. The last step to really kick this run defense up a notch is to hard flat your outside curl flats. And if you set your coaching adjustments to zero yards, they'll basically maintain the outside a lot better, which will typically force the defender up the field towards the safeties, which is what you want. Next up, we're going to talk about pass defense. Other than setting my zone drop flats to 0 or 5 yards, the only adjustment that I typically make is going to be setting my zone coverage to match. In the video that I did going over all the coaching adjustments, it was clear to me that zone coverage match is much improved over regular zone coverage. If you guys want to check out that full length video, I have a link in the description. It's definitely worth it. Cover 4 quarters is actually a much improved pass defense this year. I said earlier that I typically like to use this defense in the red zone. It's mostly because it covers intermediate routes way better. Short routes as well. You'll see on this next play, my opponent opponent is really just using a basic bench concept and you see the deep cover corners do a much better job of taking away these corner routes and probably any defense in the game right now and then my hard flats obviously do a great job on the running back which is where I think he wanted to go with the ball my opponent tries to throw it up because I think he thought he had a step and that's just a perfect double team if you watch the replay you can see that every defender is locked up the only reason that the zig route is open over here is because I pushed in the right stick to send the closest defender after the quarterback when I saw him rolling out expecting the zone that was in front of the running back to go after him. Now let's go back to Madden 22 and compare how Cover 4 used to cover this play. This is the exact play that he ran. He made no adjustments at all. And if I pause this halfway through the play, you can make the argument that every single route on this play is open with the exception of the B route. I could complete any single receiver here that I want to, including the receiver that he tried to throw to in the gameplay that we just played. Cover 4 quarters is a much improved pass defense. The logic is much better. It's way harder to glitch. In Madden 22, it was one of the easiest plays they had a one play touchdown against. In Madden 23, when I was recording my Saints offensive ebook, it was the hardest play for me to come up with one play touchdowns against. So you can definitely use this anywhere on the field, but it's not as adjustable as cover three. We have four deep zones, which I can't really touch, and four pass rushers, which I could probably take one or two away, but it really wouldn't be worth it. So to me, it's not as easily adjustable as the cover three because the cover three really feels like it has extra defenders at the outside linebacker spots. It's really up to you whether you want to blitz them, drop them into a zone or even use them as man defenders a lot of times i can do this setup one of two ways i can base it off of where the receivers are on the field or i can base it off where the ball is on the field typically people try to run their offense to the open side of the field so a lot of times i'll have my mabel concept over there i'll put my outside linebacker into a hard flat to that side of the field because that's the side where typically people like to run their offense because you need space for receivers to get open. You can see on this play here, nope. he tries to throw it to the short side. There's no space, so there's no real way to go with the ball. I also like to specifically run my hard flat in the direction of the running back because you'll see how these hard flats set to zero yards can really shut down these lower routes. On the opposite side of that hard flat, I typically like to put the other linebacker into a vert hook, either in front of receivers or once again on the short side of the field because typically people don't have space to run a plate to the flats for a catch and run. Plus, I also don't want to have to be responsible for anything in that area. I want to be able to free flow and go wherever I think the play is going, and that vert hook really opens me up as a user. You can see on this next play, nothing's really open. My opponent has to take off with Carson Wentz, which is not typically what people want to do. And then last but not least, you can also use this play as a blitz. To do this, all you have to do is blitz all linebackers. Since there's only two linebackers on the field and they're both in coverage, they will both go into a blitzing animation. Then you have to take your user down over the gap that's right over the center. Hover that gap pre-snap. Sometimes I'll touch the center. Sometimes I'll just try to drop back and pull them. But if you do this correctly, you'll see that you'll get a free defender off the edge pretty much every single time. It takes a little bit longer and shocking. As you can see, it has kind of like a looping animation. But at the end of the day, the closer they are under the center, the better it will be for this particular blitz. So that's that's the video. If you guys would like an offense to go along with this defense, I'll have a video popping up on the screen right now. So make sure to check that out. Other than that, if you want to see more defensive gameplay videos like this, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.